So today I want to uh, unbox this uh, Gen 2 M18 fuel angle grinder. Uh, it's the 2880-20 bare tool. And uh, look at the difference from the Gen 1 to the Gen 2 and uh, kind of see if it's worth upgrading or if it's basically the same tool and different number, you know? So. Right off the bat, you can see it has a different guard. It has this plastic cover that comes on it that you can take off and use it as a regular guard, or you put the sleeve on it, once for cutting, once for grinding. And uh, it fits tight on there. It's not bad. Uh, I don't use my guard that much to be honest and I do wear all my safety stuff, a full mask and everything and gloves but with the wire wheel and stuff I like to be able to get in as tight of a space as possible when I'm cleaning frames and stuff like this frame back here and uh, so I end up just setting this aside a lot of the time unless I'm you know cutting something some thick metal or something like that but so I'm going to take this guard off So, there is a uh, little more body on this Gen 2. The body's got a little bit more length on it, and the head's got less. So, I don't know. They both are rated at the same exact RPM, so that's why I was curious of what they actually changed. Uh, if you can see here, there's venting you know, and three sides. This one's covered completely, but so two sides really. This one has just a vent on the bottom. Uh, looks like, you know, they both have plastic gears, but the old one has far bigger gears in it. Uh, all that right there is, it looks, all, the fans are a lot bigger on each one. Uh, same arbors on them. Same lock almost, but you can see the uh, head, if you line them up, is far longer on this one, and this one's more of the body. So I guess, you know, it, it does bring the arbor back some to fit in further, I guess, get up tighter spaces to things. So it isn't bad. Um, they put a steeper slope on the battery on this one, so it's further up away from what you're cutting or, you know, grinding on. So. They did add some tweaks and features to it, but really if I just have this and I don't need a second angle grinder, this is not really different enough to justify going to get a second one, but it is really nice. Uh, I, I do like the feel of this one. They got it a little bit more narrower in the hand grip for, you know, a long time of holding these things. You grind all day. And, your fingers start to get pretty sore from, you know, just holding a light little plastic trigger all day, but still. Uh, so, it, it's, it is nice. They made some nice improvements, but would I say rush out and buy this one if you already get this one? Definitely not. Like I said, they got the, the same power in them. Uh, they just, you know, moved the head a little bit, changed the battery stance, slimmed down the grip on it. And uh, that's about it, so I would say. Oh, and they did give you this guard with the plastic cover that you can put on and off, but you know, that's none of that's really a big selling point to rush out and buy this over that. But I would recommend it. This, this thing has gone through some brutal uses and uh, is. Uh, been a very durable little grinder to fit into tight spots when you don't want to use a giant, you know, seven to nine inch or something. You're just doing tight spaces and frame rails and things like that, and you know you want to get in. So the head is nice on that for that type of thing, but you can do all that with this too. So.